what you mean. Breaking through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never ending sea. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just wanna hide me. Deflowered and free. Initiations with time. Hello, hello, Aquarius energy. Thank you so much for tuning into this message. This is going to be a general transformation reading for Aquarius for the month of April. It's your girl, Lemon here, back by Lemon Nissen, of course. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are dropping. Again, this is a general message for Aquarius. I am available for personal readings if you would like astrology or tarot. The link tree is available in the description box below. You can email me, send me a message directly on Instagram, or book on Square Reader. At this time, all readings are pre-recorded, okay? So, um, what message of transformation do we have for the sign of Aquarius? What message of transformation do we have for the sign energy of Aquarius? transformation do we have for Aquarius for the month of April? I feel like you got like a little stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Mark, I mean, Mars is currently conjunct Saturn and Aquarius right now, so that's probably what's going on. But let's see. What needs to change? Judgments. You need to start calling people out on their bullshit. As much as you call yourself out on your bullshit. Um, what is supporting you? The Eight of Swords. Not getting into anyone else's business. What is blocking or slowing you down? You haven't been working the way that you should. Major spiritual lesson. King of Pentacles. The millionaire. Yes, yes, yes. In the sign of progress. Age of Swords. Someone's watching you. Even with these two cards together, you got the overall energy, the full at the bottom. Yes, new beginnings, brand new. Pluto is coming to Aquarius very soon. This is how it looks on the table. Like she's watching him. Someone's watching you. Someone's it may be kind of stalkerish, but someone definitely is watching you. Okay, and it may have to do with your work. You're making progress with your work. Um, you're coming off very rounded and appealing um you look very marketable there's a lot of money to be made here aquarius okay so what needs to change we got judgment you need to wake up you need to get out of la la land and wake up aquarius This is a very opportunistic time. If you sleep too long on these opportunities, especially when it comes to money, you're going to miss out and you're going to be mad that you did. Judgment. Yep, you got the universe. The karmic cycle is ending, so one can begin. It's time for you to wake up and realize that something is over. And it's time for you to move on to a whole new chapter. Whole new chapter. Okay, because something is over. It's dead. It's gone. You're went. You already went through the process of death. Judgment is when you reawaken. Um, and I feel like you just went through a cycle where you had to reawaken a part of yourself that you have been disconnected from, because it's time for you to journey onward. You're in a situation that was suppressing 
you a part of you that was very real very authentic and that you're going to need so that you can continue on this journey of success especially when it comes to money material gain that you have been working on don't slip the last second Aquarius don't sleep on the last second stay awake look stay awake stay firm girl mighty <laughs> is that blasphemous I'm not sure um but yes judgment is saying that this something is over there's something new beginning so wake up okay get to it what's supporting this change is the eight of swords which is very interesting to me because this card talks about um allowing yourself to be blindsided in situations where you can walk yourself out like it's very easy for you to get out the situation so um which would make okay so then yeah that definitely goes very well what needs to change is the fact that you need to wake up and see that it's a whole new world for you and what's supporting you is the fact that you're able to get out of situations that you were stuck in in the old cycle the universe card is here which is like a world when there's a new karmic cycle starting like the collective energy that you lived in uh, which is funny because i was just doing the recording talking about how jupiter 12 year cycle is ending with this jupiter and pisces transit so whatever you were working on that 12 year cycle is coming to an end judgment it's time to wake up and realize that that storyline or whatever attachment you had to whatever idea you thought you were supposed to be become create like okay there's a new cycle starting so get your mind together okay okay whatever happened 12 years ago it's time to let it go now and start a new journey and this time you can walk right out of it whatever that past journey is yeah night of swords it's time for you to briskly <laughs> get out of there prince of swords is kind of like the king of swords in this deck um i said knight but i meant prince um it's kind of like the king of swords in this deck so you get to completely free yourself number one from a past situation you have the opportunity to walk away right now the, the swords are open enough for you to walk yourself out take off the blindfold untie yourself walk out and when you make this decision to do this the prince of swords here in this deck is saying that it's permanent you will not have to go back through this cycle and learn the same lesson all over again okay so what's blocking or slowing you down is this eight of pentacles you got the sun and virgo card here this is about working okay too many too many way too many okay the Eight of Pentacles is about working, creating creating the harvest so that the Nine of Pentacles is where you get the harvest. So the Eight of Pentacles is working on har harvesting. So maybe you've been very slow with your work. Um, you haven't been wanting to work or putting any extra effort, but now is the time for you to do so because people, your outcome is a sign of progress is that your fan base, your followers, your your viewers are increasing so you need to get on it it's time to get on it people your your higher management they're looking at you they're seeing the work that you're doing you're being evaluated okay look the start and stop thing is really slowing you down like keep going okay eight of pentacles slowing you down So we have the moon card mm. you don't know what you're working on you're not sure of what you're supposed to be working towards do you need to make a to-do list so you have some organization in your day-to-day -day? okay saturn is in your sign okay saturn is in aquarius right now with mars and juno and vesta The new moon in Virgo 
or full moon in Virgo. And the full moon in Virgo, you may have been slowed down or you had to slow down. But now your transformation for the month of April is about you having new beginnings and starting over. So maybe you need to get back to work. You need to get back to working on a regular schedule again. Because there's something. What is this moon card? What is this moon card? Neptune here. Wait. And this deck is not Neptune. I think this is Uranus. But this is water energy nonetheless. The hanged man. What's stopping you from working? Are you looking for more ideas? Do you feel like you're unsure about the work you're doing right now? Come on. Come on, y'all. Don't stop at the last minute. Okay? What's blocking or slowing you down is that you're not doing enough work. You're not sleeping enough. You're not getting... A, you don't have an, a good balance of work and rest okay now your sp major spiritual lesson is the king of pentacles okay so if you're trying to work and you're trying to build something you have to have virgo energy a schedule a to-do list so you can maintain structure in your life in order for you to become the king of pentacles so your if your major spiritual lesson is you ask the divine to awaken you to having a wealthy mind state it's going to give you opportunity the universe is going to present you with opportunities to wake up get out of your head and get into your body and start working out start working it out so you can become the king of pinnacles that you want to become okay King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. King, Queen of Swords. Okay. 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 So I feel like I'm getting a new, a new vibe here. Okay. So um, there's someone who may be stuck. This king is stuck in your flourishing. And maybe it's supportive to you that this person is stuck <laughs> and they don't know what direction to go in. So they're just holding themselves captive because they don't want to be the person to make the choice, which was funny because the Prince of Swords or the King of Swords is Aquarius's energy. So maybe your hands were tied up and you weren't able to do anything, gave you opportunity, opportunity to just sit back and watch people and see them for who they truly were or see them for who they, how they truly are because what was blocking or slowing you down is your ability to get things done to stay up late even if you have to to study hard to do to work hard you are being blocked or slowed down by someone else who's not doing anything or maybe this was you just choosing not to do anything but there are people who because the judgment has multiple people surrounding right and this is archangel gabriel i believe gabriel um and gabriel was the one that delivered the message to miss mary that you know the divine was going to give her a child to carry to take care of to nurture because that baby was going to grow to be you know a pure soul that needs to be protected okay so maybe someone doesn't know that they're pregnant someone's finding out that they're pregnant and they had no idea they don't know what to do about the situation but there's some work that has to be done here most definitely 
we got the moon and the hangman the moon is about fears and mystery and the hangman is you waiting okay so maybe your hands are tied up with moving forward in a situation that has to do with work and you're waiting for them you're waiting to hear back from them that's why you're not working or you haven't done any work because you haven't heard back from them or they didn't hear back from you there's some type of communication disconnects here especially with this eight of swords but that that time frame of you not hearing back from you being able to work is time for you to reconnect with the vision of you being the king of pentacles whether this job or this place call you back or not you're still the king of pentacles you're still the king of pentacles you still have this queen of swords energy here that lets you know whether something is for you and something not cut it out and keep moving just cut it out and keep moving because you got the king and the prince of swords here together okay so if this job or this person or this money situation if it does not work out it's because it was going to slow you down and you needed to be blocked from it and maybe you needed time to realize that mystery which is why it existed in the first place because someone is not communicating with you they're not responding to you and you're waiting for a response you need to uh, need to be evaluating why you want this why do you want to do this do you have a schedule set up are you prepared for this and now's the time for you to get prepared for it while you're waiting because the king of pentacles is your spiritual lesson um is bigger than you i'm sure aquarius is know that but this project that you're doing is bigger than you so you need to wake up and then you know you may have been kind of sluggish especially like i said with the start stop start stop that's going on right now with this mars and saturn and aquarius conjunction it's getting you to see that when you're at a pause with this eight of swords it's supporting you and you may be trying to fight against it because you're trying to move forward but when the when you feel that stop be patient when I say wake up and get to going, yes, you have to wake up and get going. You do have work to do. But there is like information being downloaded to you when you're in a state where you can't. You feel like you can't move on. It's because there's information coming to you to help you move on. But you got to receive the information first. This is Gemini energy channeling, right? You have to channel energy so you can know how to move forward what's blocking you is you being too busy to catch the information so when you reached out to work on a project do something work related it was slow or it's blocking you because you needed to talk to the divine and get a new perspective on the situation because you still end up with the king, being the king of pentacles anyway so it had nothing to do with money. It was just about you being in an alignment. Are you aware of your power? Are you aware of what your capabilities are? Are you aware of who you're connecting to, who you're connecting with? Do you give gratitude to the divine, your source, for helping you to know what is the right money move to make and not just jumping at any opportunity just because you see it? So the sign of progress is the page of swords, someone watching you, someone responding to you. This could be email, text message, um, social media. Um, but there's something, there's a new idea or someone watching you and want, they may want to make an offer to you as well. Okay, we got the ten of swords. Yeah, someone's watching you. It could be a Gemini. You got the eight of wands at the bottom. Okay. It could be someone at a distance as well. Someone from a distance is watching. They're 
they're making up an idea or they're drawing conclusions about you. The Gemini energy is also about communication. So I feel like someone saw that you were entangled in something, but you came out of it on top. They saw that you were hurt or you were in pain and they, they watched you truck through all of this shit and come out ready to move forward with your life no matter what. You woke up and realized who the fuck you were. But yeah, I feel like that's happening right now. Someone's watching you go through your caterpillar to a butterfly stage. Yeah, forgiveness. Maybe the person who's watching you is the one who needs to be forgiven. Or you may want to forgive someone. This is a crazy ass message, Aquarius. I gotta say. I gotta say. The divine wants to talk to you, Aquarius, so please respond or they will hold everything the fuck back until you too. Ancestors, angel guides, they're here to support you. They're all around you, but you don't see them physically, but they're all around you, supporting you, giving you the wisdom that you need so you can move forward. So you're too busy trying to do this that you kind of are m missing out. So actively pray, act, act, be open, actively open to receiving messages from the divine when you feel it hit you. Because you need to wake up and realize that your energy is being called by the universe to take action with humanity and you can't ignore that by you know staying at a desk job or trying to be somewhere safe like it's that safety um is just you scared to go out and dangle your manifestation powers your telepathy your telekinesis your teleportation like it's time for you to be in that mode it's time for you to be as you as you can be okay and whatever you think that you're lacking or that, or that you may be missing because you're not doing the standard job um or career is going to be made up in you following divine instructions because there's somebody here on your spiritual team that has your back you just got to trust and believe that they do. But yeah, you're being watched. Definitely being watched by someone. It could be children. Someone who's younger than you. They're watching you. But don't let the fact that they're watching you stop you. Okay, keep going. Don't stop your work just because you know someone is watching you. And if something happened between you and that person that made you want to stop or slow down and figure out who you were allow yourself to forgive them forgive them for they don't know not what they do okay that's your energy aquarius thank you so much for tuning in and have a good one Peace.